Hi, I'm Chris. In this video, I'm going to explain what distributed ledger technology or DLT is and what it has to do with you, a payments leader. DLT and digital assets are almost as old as the internet. We saw the first experiments in crypto in the early 1990s. Fast forward to today, and there's more than 1 trillion in cryptocurrencies out there and 420 million people who use them. So how did we get here? Let's take a quick look. Back in 2008, the financial markets crashed and trust in the banks fell with them. Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper, a peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash, also known as Bitcoin. The paper describes a decentralized financial system based on blockchain, which doesn't need banks. So what's a blockchain? Blockchains are decentralized ledgers that record every transaction ever made and the overall balances. You can use them to send cryptocurrency, a type of digital asset. Owning crypto really means owning an online wallet address, which has a balance recorded on a blockchain. So what does that have to do with payments? Well, in 2010, a big year for crypto, the first ever payment was made using Bitcoin. 10,000 of them were exchanged for two pizzas. That's nearly 300 million in today's money. In 2014, the first ever stablecoin was born. What is a stablecoin, you may ask? Stablecoins are a type of cryptocurrency whose value is pegged to a more stable asset, like the US dollar or gold, meaning they're more useful for payments. By the end of 2021, cryptocurrencies reached a market value of over 3 trillion, with many global brands getting involved. Meanwhile, stablecoins were on the rise, with settlement volumes rivaling those of the major card networks. Now, as with everything in life, things aren't always smooth sailing. And in 2022, it gets a bit rocky. Industry scandals shook consumer confidence and market activity slowed. Regulators also took a stronger interest. Because of that, we're starting to see, one, clearer rules develop, two, bad actors being weeded out, and three, digital assets like stablecoins being integrated into the mainstream financial system. We're also seeing more businesses trying out this technology. So why should you care? Well, with 420 million people owning crypto worldwide, a growing number of businesses are choosing to accept payments in crypto. But DLT isn't just for consumer payments. It's also an alternative way to move money globally, in many cases, faster and more cheaply. In time, it's likely that all payments will interact with the blockchain in some way, shape or form. And we'll see more payment teams using it as part of a multi-rail strategy. So it's an exciting time to be in payments. That's it from me. Be sure to catch the other videos in our DLT Essential series to learn about use cases, benefits, and how you can test out this technology safely.